Thank you. My name is Michael Woods. I'm a resident of Saunderstown, your district chairman, so yep. it's great to see you here. Good to see you. Here tonight on behalf of the New England chapter of Backcountry Hunters and Anglers, where I serve as the volunteer chair of our chapter board. Um, across North America, BHA volunteers are working to protect access to public lands and waters, and that's why I'm here tonight in support of uh, H8055. I want to start by talking about what this bill would do and what it would not do. It would not redefine property boundaries. Uh, it would not permit activities that are not protected under Article 1, Section 16 and 17. It is not an expansion of shoreline rights, and it doesn't even override any current Rhode Island general law. What it does do is clearly define and protect rights that have been historically enjoyed since 1663 in the Royal Charter and well in advance of that. Uh, it would correct an outdated judicial interpretation from 1982. The intention there was to balance the public's rights, not to put them underwater. And Justice Shea may have been well-intentioned, but today's science clearly indicates that the intended balance was not achieved. And a host of additional problems were created by the lack of an observable boundary. Uh, if passed, it would also fulfill the General Assembly's obligation to secure the rights of Rhode Islanders protected by the Constitution. I, I do want to recognize um, that H8055 is the result of the Legislative Study Commission on Shoreline Access and thank Representative Encortrevand and Representative Philippi, or Leader Philippi, uh, for their hard work. Um, I want to echo Mark McKenney's uh, sentiment that when that commission started, I, I, I too did not feel like they were going to reach a consensus. Uh, people did come with an open mind, but they came from uh, quite a distant, distance apart. After listening to the scientists, histori historians, legal experts, and the general public, though, they galvanized around the proposal that's before you. Uh, these are the stakeholders, the experts that the, the Speaker of the House brought together to look at this issue, to learn about it, and to make a recommendation. And I'm here tonight supporting their recommendation to pass 8055, move it out of this committee to the floor for a vote where I'm sure that it will pass, and to the governor's desk. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Any questions? Thanks.